सो हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अडिक्शी फॉर फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो इन दिस न्यू एपिसोड वी डीप डाइव इन टू द परचेस ऑर्डर क्रिएशन प्रोसेस सो इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट अ परचेस ऑर्डर यू नीड टू गो टू मॉड्यूल्स इन साइड मॉड्यूल्स यू टू सिलेक्ट द प्रोक्यूरमेंट एंड सोर्सिंग मॉड्यूल इन साइड परचेस ऑर्डर यू हैव ऑल परचेस ऑर्डर बटन सो लेट्स क्लिक ऑन द ऑल परचेस ऑर्डर so after click on the all purchase order you will get the all purchase order list view where the first column we have the purchase order number so the purchase order number in our case we set up the number sequence for the purchase order so when you click on this new button this purchase order number will be auto populated and follow the number sequence automatically same for the vendor account and the invoice account in the vendor account is a actual your suppliers for which you are creating the purchase order here you can see that for the vendor account and invoice account mainly it's same but in some cases the vendor account and invoice account might be changed for example you have vendor account which is a child company of your parent company you are supplying the your goods for the child company and but you are sending the bill or invoices for the parent company which is sitting in some different location so in that case your vendor account is your child company and your invoice account you will consider as a parent company the next column we have as a vendor name here you set the supplier name over here next the important type is a purchase type here in the purchase type you have option like journal purchase order and the return order for the journal when you create a purchase order in the purchase type we have option like journal purchase order and the return order so for the journal when you create a purchase order as a type of journal then you can't post the purchase order like you can't post the confirmation you can't post the grn and you can also can't post the invoices so the order type as a journal which means it's just a template where you log a data into that journal so if you want to post that journal then you need to make a changes as a purchase type to the purchase order then you can able to post that purchase order successfully so if you want to post the data of the purchase order you need to change that type from journal to the purchase order also in the item inside the journal will not consider for the reservation process also not consider for the master planning and not for the forecasting process so the next status is approval status approval status is just related to the workflow so the in future videos we will detailedly discuss about the purchase order workflow process so for now we don't set any workflow for our purchase order so whenever we click on the new and create any purchase order the default status of that purchase order is approved so when we click on the confirm button the status of the approval status will be changed from approve to the confirm so the next status is a purchase order status purchase order status is actual status of that purchase order so when you create a purchase order the status of this order is a open order as soon as i receive the item or post the grn in the system it's called as a post the product receipt then status will be changed from open order to the receive and when i invoice that order my status will be changed from receive to the invoice and the last status of this purchase order is cancel if you cancel this order let's click on the purchase order and you cancel this purchase order the status is changed from the open order to the cancel order in this our next episode we discuss about the, all the status in very detailed manner next is a currency here we mention the currency which is used in the purchase order next is a delivery date this one is a mode of delivery where we set the modes of delivery like road flight and sea the next one is a delivery term we have already discussed about the delivery terms at the time of vendor creation so you can check out our previous episode for the delivery terms and the last two is a purchase agreement and this one is a quality order status so here let's click on the new button click on the new button you will get uh, some temporary form which help you to creating the purchase order so let's fill this form to create a purchase order so here the first field is a vendor account in the vendor account you can select the vendor with vendor account or vendor name or you can enter the search name so here we have the option in the name you can use any filter so let's filter with apply this filter so let's take this vendor for our purchase order so whenever you select the vendor account other information like name delivery address which is default delivery address of this vendor then other information is like currency of this vendor this information will get auto filled so the name is auto filled 
then second one is a deliver as i said before it's a default delivery address if you want you can click on the new button here and you can add the new delivery address by using this add address button next is in the general tab we have purchase order purchase order number will be auto generated we have set the number sequence for the purchase order the next one is a uh, purchase type so as we discuss in this video we have three purchase type first is a journal second one is a purchase order and third one is a return order so whenever you click on the journal you will not able to post the product receipt and invoice for this purchase order just enter the data in that purchase order and that's it if you want to change this journal so you can change the type from journal to the purchase order in the next step in the next level so for now we have purchase order and third one is a return order return order is for the return purchase order so we set the default value for this purchase type let's i'll show you how you can set that duplicate this tab now we get to the procurement and sourcing set setup we have procurement and sourcing parameter so in the general tab we have default values so in the purchase type we have set the purchase order so whenever i creating the purchase order by click on the new button every time purchase type will be purchase order so make sure you are set this default value as a purchase order otherwise whenever you create a pur new purchase order it will consider as a journal so the next one is a name of the supplier let's select the site and warehouse we have not discussed any site creation and warehouse creation yet in this channel so in our inventory module training series we will create a site and warehouse in our future videos so for timing just select the warehouse in default data which provided by the microsoft so the next one is the accounting date accounting date will be considered as a purchase order when you create the purchase order system will take this date as a accounting date and same this will take as a delivery date so you can change the delivery date so next one is a project id we are not discussing project id for for now in our future video we will discuss in the production module for the project id the next is a currency currency this will take from the vendor level and in the administration we have buyers group buyers group is purely related for the reporting purpose so we are not selecting any bias group now so the next concept we have orderer and the requester so concept behind this orderer and requester is like for many organization not directly everyone creating the purchase order they are procurement team which generally create the purchase order for the requester the person who is actually creating the purchase order will be considered as a orderer and the person who is request for that purchase order will be selected in the requester so here as per our setup we have set the orderer so whenever i log in with this credential this employee will be default consider as a orderer so no need to select this user manually we will show you this configuration in our future videos so for the requester we need to select the employee who is request for this purchase order the last one is a unplanned purchase order unplanned purchase order will be used if you directly call the vendor ship particular items they ship the item without any purchase order so in that scenario create one purchase order uh, assign this confirming po status to that purchase order and submit this purchase order this will notify our supervisor that this purchase order we need to process in urgent basis as compared to other purchase order so let's fact view details agent po select language as a en us save this one now here you have the option to select urgent po so whenever this urgent po reason code will be selected you will get the update that this purchase order we need to process in very urgent basis so that's it in this video we are just providing the introduction to the purchase order in our next videos we will detailedly discuss about the purchase order creation how you can post the product receipt we'll also post the invoices and discuss about the voucher entries so stay tuned with us subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching